There we go. Good afternoon. This is Dennis Wilburn from the Active Trend Traders, and uh, uh, we've got David Grandy on the line also from All About Trends. David, how are you doing today? I'm doing really great. Really great. Good week. Yeah, it was a, it was an awesome week. I mean, it was just uh, phenomenal with. Uh, uh, maybe the market's starting to do something different than what it's done uh, over the last couple of weeks and shake off uh, these doldrums. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, I mean, it was very, it was, sorry, it was a very positive <laughs> week, definitely. Um, so uh, we'll go through some of the things that the market may or may not be doing. Okay, yeah, it's, it's really interesting to get to do this uh, program with... Uh, um, and uh, hey, I got a real quick question for you. Uh, uh, Premajit asked the question: What does "wash, rinse, and repeat" mean on your guys' uh, newsletters? All about trends. I know what you're talking um, about, but uh, I'll let you answer that. It, it means that the market and stocks tend to, uh, and patterns tend to repeat themselves, and and you know. Like uh, in any time you read a success book, they talk about habits, and and so it's just you know developing the habits of what to look for, and how to trade it, wash, rinse, repeat. You know, um, this is when we buy, this is when we sell, this is you know this is our risk, and uh, you know, and then that's just on the trading side, and then on the stock side, you know, we we tend to see things set up over and over and over again, and, and ten, they tend to do the same things. So. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, I made the statement last week, Dave, uh, about I, I continually, continually marvel at how these patterns just repeat themselves, repeat themselves, repeat themselves. And, uh, and a lot of times what I find with a lot of the, the traders I work with is oftentimes they either want trading, trading charts and stocks that don't have a repeatable pattern because some stocks out there don't. Have the, you know, they're, they're just all over the board. They're really sloppy. But uh, if one will just take the time to find those few stocks, good quality growth stocks, and, and occasionally some of the index uh, ETFs that show repeatable patterns, those are things that's like money in the bank. Right, exactly. So let's get going. I uh, want to remind everybody that the materials we present here are for training purposes only, uh, and the trader should always paper trade any new method prior to risking personal capital. Uh, I want to remind everybody on this Memorial Day uh, weekend, uh, just remember those who gave all for you. Uh, never relinquish the freedom and liberty that they earned for us no matter what. I know I spent 23 years in the Navy and uh, many of my at that time brothers in arms uh, are no longer with us because they did pay the ultimate price and um, the thing about it is, is just never sell your freedom for a piece of bread and with that I'll get on, I won't say any more but um, looking at the S&P and the Dow are the, is it doing something different is the question I come along, I come away with uh, moving into this long weekend. Uh, the NASDAQ did something different during the week and so did the Russell. So I'm going to go over to the charts real quick. I know Dave's got some really fantastic things to show everybody with regards to some of the uh, trades that they were in for the week. And uh, so as we take a look here at the S&P, when I said they did something different, they it did. It basically, well, we had three up days, good progressive up days in the S&P, and that's the first time that's happened in, oh gosh, two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. Uh, well, we ended the session today right at the, just above the 1900 level. Where, which is a pretty significant uh, resistance level, and so we will see moving into next week. Will this shooting star um, formation that was in place about two weeks ago, without, will that hold, or will we bust on through uh, uh, and see the, the uh, S&P move into a uh, longer-term uptrend or just continue the, the uptrend? Uh, we've got a couple of things it can do from here, either pop up or 
put in a bearish type candlestick and or reversal pattern and reverse back down. Where is it likely to go? If it reverses back down, guess where? Right back down to the 50. Uh, if we break the 50, which it's been resilient on the 50, look how many times it's bumped off the 50 over the last uh, couple of months. Um, once it broke out here back in April, we bounced once, twice, three, four, five, and even this week. And so if one is trading the uh, ETFs, those support bounces and then getting out when it hits resistance is a, is, is a good strategy to use right now. Take a look at the uh, to the Nasdaq. Uh, Nasdaq. Well, last week, as we were talking about the Nasdaq, it had been forming this nice little uh, symmetric or close to symmetric triangle. This week, we break out, and today it adds further uh, distance, breaking not and closing not only above the 50, but now also above the 100. Uh, so it looks like the momentum is shifting up. What it does when it gets back close to this or the original trend line off the old channel. That's anybody's guess because oftentimes those old trend lines become resistance where we could bang our head there and fall back down. This purple line that I've drawn in here is actually a measurement of the projected movement that could come off of this breaking of the um, breaking of this triangle. And the way I got that number is basically, as I originally just drew it in here, from that high back down to the triangle. And that gives me a real nice projected from this breakout here of how far, far we could go. Uh, and if, we, if the NASDAQ does manage to rally on up uh, and continue further up over the next couple of few weeks and months, uh, the projection is it'll run right back up into the resistance at its high for the year, about the 4350 level. And this uh, technical technique of measuring your potential moves off of a triangle uh, is used all the time by technical analysts just to give a, a rough projection of the minimum uh, run that should be expected. Do you ever do that, Dave? I'm going to switch over to the Russell. Dave, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I don't know if you use that measurement technique or not, Dave, but it, it can be um, very, uh, a very, very valuable uh, procedure and to get some idea of mm -hmm. just where, you, where you're moving. And on the Russell, real quick on the Russell is what do we get this uh, today? A break above the 200 and a close. It closed at the session's high. I've left in this big box up here, which is the magic fib box, which is the uh, 38 to 62 percent retracement from this high over here down to this low over here. So a uh, move back up into that now that we've broken this, we need to be watching to see what happens when it gets either into the box, the price action, and or uh, what it does if it hits the 50 that is coming down this way and almost paralleling uh, this trend line. Um, like I said, good move today. It, uh, we might want to question today's move. It was very powerful, but uh, on, on long holiday weekends, there is a tendency for the market to move up. And so oftentimes we'll come back on Tuesday and uh, all, the, uh, um, all the momentum is dropped back out of the market and uh, we may fall back off. But we'll have to wait till Tuesday to find out about that. So what do you think, Dave? That sounds good. Yeah, very thorough. Good job, as and always. <laughs> <laughs> and so, okay. Uh, folks, if you have any questions, you can start typing them in, or if you have any stocks you want us to take a look at later, you can type them in now, because I'm going to switch roles, and Dave's going to uh, provide uh, his part of today's stock talk. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Dennis. It's been a great, great week, and I'm just going to go through um, 
some of the um, stocks that, that made nice moves for us this week. And, and uh, you know, again, we've been talking about these patterns for, for weeks now, and, and we've got some really good follow-through on them this week. So um, just a quick review. The, 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 the biggest positive was the NASDAQ finally retook the 50-day. It's, it's joining the S&P and the Dow as acting a little bit, a lot more healthy. Um, are we going into some resistance here? Uh, like Dennis said, we'll find out. I mean, I think we just saw a, a nice little uh, holiday week run, so we'll see if we get some traction next week or if we, we get turned away. Um, great short-term profits, one of our best weeks in, in a while, and it was, um, it was really great. So we're uh, real happy about that. And then there's, we still have uh, more, fun, more fun ahead, a lot more quality setups coming. So um, we've been talking about the three things, and all you need to know in the stock market is three things, uptrends and how to trade them, downtrends and how to trade them, and changes in trend patterns. And it was the change in trend pattern that was the big uh, payer this week. Um, lots of stocks uh, had hit double bottoms and then had made an initial rally and had formed a uh, pullback off highs pattern, and then they triggered trades, and, and we, we took them. Um, I'm just going to go through a few of them here. And that's sweet. Uh, again, double bottom here, pull back off highs, and then trigger the trade up into resistance. It was a nice 7.5% uh, gain in five days for our subscribers. Uh, CNQR, same thing, double bottom, uh, a move up and a pull back, and then it, uh, it, uh, it took off in 4% 4, 4 gain in five days. Google, same thing, and that was a, another 4% gain. Amazon, a 3% gain. Um, just you know, hitting and running on this stuff, you know, recognizing the patterns, knowing what to do with them, and then taking our profits as as they trade up into resistance. Um, and you know, like I said, the fund's not over yet. We we uh, still have a couple current positions, and and we're watching a IACI very closely. Um, we're just waiting for that one to to show some oomph here, and and we'll probably be taking that one as well. Um, so I don't know what happened to my slide here. Um, but we had, if you could see it, it would say we had, uh, so far our subscribers are up $2,300 so far this month just from taking these, these quick hit and run trades. So it's been a really good month. Now why did we lock in our gains? Because as you can see the NASDAQ, even though it did get above the 50 day, it is trading up into a resistance level here. Um, and it's, you know, short term overbought. The same thing goes for the S&P. So, um, you know, for us, we like to take our profits when we have them and, uh, you know, look for additional setups to uh, redeploy that, that cash into. Um, so speaking of that, uptrends, um, that's the other pattern. So we talked about changing trends. Now let's talk about uptrends. These are stocks that are in uptrends above the 50-day moving average, trading in, a, a, you know, a, a nice range, uh, and have pulled back very orderly to support areas of support. And last week we talked about Athlon Energy. As you can see, it's in a clearly defined uptrend, trading really nicely in, within this channel, and a nice pullback off highs. And that one triggered as well uh, and had a, had a really great week. So the patterns are there and they, and they work, and it's just all a matter of recognizing them and, and knowing how to trade them. Uh, as far as downtrends go, it's exact opposite of the pullback off highs. We're looking for stocks that have fallen through support and have rallied back off of their recent lows into an area of resistance. And uh, Dennis has been talking recently about Tesla, and as you can see, it's you know in a clear downtrend here, and it's uh, you know broken through support and has formed a, a pullback off lows pattern up into resistance here at both the 50-day and its uh, downtrend lines. So all the all that uh, we're looking for here is a break of this channel to the downside to initiate a, a short sell trade. Um, so what do we do now? Uh, it's it's uh, a lot of fun again. Uh, we have some, definitely have a lot of good setups here, and uh, they're playing ball with us. So we're going to continue to to identify those setups and profit from those setups. I don't like to make this uh, webinar real promotional. I want it to be more educational and, and more interactive. Um, but I do have to, I, to say, if you're ever going to take a look at our service, you got to do it this weekend. Because on Tuesday, we're going to be raising our prices from $29.99 to $49.99. But this weekend, and this weekend only, 
We're offering $19.99 for anybody who wants in. It's $19.99 per month for as long as you remain a subscriber. There's no long-term contract. It's just month to month. You can cancel any time. Um, and we're never going to offer this price again. So uh, this is the time to do it. If you want to take advantage of that, just go to our website and sign up for our free newsletter. And then you'll get over the weekend um, a link to sign up for the $20 special. And again, it's just this weekend only. Sorry to be so promotional, but I, I just don't want you guys to miss out on it. I mean, for 20 bucks, for everything I just showed you and, and, and all the gains, you know, we just paid for many, many years of our service just from those trades alone. Um, so I really encourage you to, to take a look at it. So with that said, that's about all I have. David, you said a lot. No, I mean, that was, it was very well said. I uh, really love some of the... the uh uh, trades that you you guys worked on last week, uh, really phenomenal. Uh, we had uh, basically a, a few. Uh, uh, what I put out to our premium guys, uh, premium subscribers, uh, is um, uh, income generating trades, uh, basically that were um, uh, primarily based on selling some puts on a couple of entities. Uh, both uh, uh, one of them was Monster Drinks. Uh, has found some support, and uh, we'll look at uh, collecting that premium, or at least half that premium, before the end of next week. And the other one was uh, one of my favorites, uh, Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. Mm -hmm. um, that one acted really well this week. Yeah, and it, it's holding its uh, support really well, and uh, away we go. I got a couple of questions um, that I have not totally answered, but one of the, one of the questions, David, uh, and uh, is... Um, uh, IBD scores the fundamentals. Do you both uh, use? Uh, do you guys both use the uh, uh, fundamentals that are provided in um, uh, with uh, IBD uh, to evaluate our stocks uh, and choose the stocks? And once we've chosen our stocks, are we primarily interested in in just following the trend? And uh, Dorothy, the answer to that question is. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I look for stocks primarily in uh, the IBD50. Uh, you know I keep a running list of everything that has appeared on the IBD50 for a year. Uh, I can tell this has been a really funky year because uh, uh, the running list on my IBD uh, that have stocks that have appeared on the IBD50 typically tops out at about 125 for the year. Uh, this year we're already past like 160, 160 stocks have actually appeared on the IBD 50, and I think part of that is due to the weakness in the uh, um, the market. Um, then I look at the sector leaders, I look at leaderboard uh, to you know glean from that, and oftentimes it's just on the very first page uh, uh, daily of um, the. Uh, uh, investor, investors.com uh, page where it's just stocks in the news or stocks are being acquired heavily or sold heavily by institutions and then uh, I'll grade them fundamentally and if they meet the uh, fundamental standards of IBD then uh, I, I may put that onto my watch list. I do try to I do try to focus on stocks that also have good options because I think that opens up some additional um, uh, trading uh, opportunities for uh, the subscribers. Dave, what about yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, for for us, you know, you know, we monitor IBD every day, and and we like to trade those stocks because for us, a company is only as good as its stock, and you know, we want just because a stock has is a good company fundamentally, we want the stocks that are going to to make big moves up or down because um, that's how we get paid. So uh, IBD has the best fundamental analysis tools out there. Uh, so the stocks that are in the IBD 50 and in the other screens that they have are the superior um, fundamentals. But, they're, but the, another nice thing about them, they're also uh, stocks that, that do well. Uh, I mean, they move. Um, whether you know, they lead the market higher and they lead the market lower. So, and that's exactly what we want to be focused on. So we just we let IBD do the fundamental analysis for us, and then we just look for the chart patterns and do what the charts tell us to do. Yep. And so, uh, Dorothy, I hope that answered your uh, answered your question. Uh, Dave, we will get to Netflix. Netflix is looking kind of exciting. A couple of other questions, mm -hmm. David. 
just want to double check my time here. A couple other questions. Um, is uh, the Memorial Day special, is that being yeah. offered to existing subscribers? Uh, sorry, folks. It's just for uh, new subscribers, just like DirecTV, you know, has that. They're a little special. I mean, I've been with DirecTV for seven years. I'd love to get it at half price, but yeah, it's just a promo for for new for new subscribers. I mean, the the um, our regular price right now is thirty bucks a month, so it's a ten dollar difference. But after Tuesday, it's going to be a thirty dollar difference, so it's a three hundred and sixty dollar savings per year. Okay. And um, and then uh, somebody asked us, will be, is there a, a, a link for the 1999 a month, uh, 1999 a month uh, special, Dave? And I, I, I would suppose you guys have a link for that? Yeah, so if you are already on our getting our newsletter or um, I mean if you're already getting our free newsletter, you'll get that link over the weekend. If you're not, then then go there and sign up for it and then you'll get the link sent to you over the weekend. Okay, awesome. And um, and then um, uh, a few other comments in. Uh, is there any potential of getting a combo deal with both All About Trends and the Active Trend Trading System? Uh, I, speaking for myself, Dave Harlan and myself have not discussed anything about that, um, but uh, that's interesting. Maybe something that uh, the three of us need to chat about if if mm -hmm. if we bring if we bring value to the folks who listen. And I, I want to. And that's one thing I want to do is just thank everybody for plugging in, um, and uh, uh, because guys, this time of year. When the market does kind of sometimes go into its doldrum, all the enthusiasm that people start the beginning of the year with kind of wanes, and and the the people who get blown about by the by the breeze, uh, you know, uh, kind of fall by the wayside. But you guys, you folks, have not, and and so that tells me that you are plugged in. Uh, you want to become not just good traders, you want to become master traders and, and great at what you do. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I keep doing what I do. <laughs> and exactly. So, so uh, let's review some, you got to, let's review a couple of stocks. 